In all VGC formats, speed control is handled in a number of possible ways. Hyper Offense teams like Tailwind, Weather-based teams use Pokémon with abilities like Swift Swim and Chlorophyll to move fast, or even just using moves to slow the enemy down, like a Regieleki's Fast Electroweb or a Prankster Thunder's clicking Scary Face and Thunder Wave. None of these methods are nearly as universally consistent, though, as Trick Room. Just before getting into that, I really quickly want to suggest you subscribe. Just over half of my viewers aren't, and you might think you already are. That's all. What the move does is reverse move order by speed stat, giving slower Pokemon precedent to move first over fast Pokemon. Trick Room gets a leg up on all forms of speed boosting by virtue of overriding the speed boosts gained through Tailwind, Max Airstreams, or abilities. On top of this, Pokemon attempting to utilize Trick Room get the benefit of maxing out their bulk rather than wasting EVs or in nature on speed. In formats with restricted Pokemon like Calyrex, Ice, and Dialga, Trick Room tends to become an over-centralizing archetype, as it is the only way to get these slower and bulkier restricted snowballing. Not only that, but the Trick Room setting support Pokemon tend to be able to do more in the long run than fast, squishy prankster users like Whimsicott. Think about how Dusclops and Porygon 2 can ally switch and modify all of the stats on the field, or how Gothitelle can click Hypnosis and Helping Hand. All this in mind, this is actually just what's strong about Trick Room in the current format. The style of play has been dominant since Gen 4 when the move was released, with the individual nuances being the only factors that change it. No matter what format you're playing, expect to face Trick Room, and try to beat it through bulky status users and slow stat droppers like Incineroar. 